Hi everyone and welcome to my channel. My name is Amanda and I'm from AmandaCrochets.com. Today I'm going to review the Annie's Kit Club. This is a monthly subscription designed for crocheters to help keep your hands busy as well as your skills sharp. Both beginner crocheters and more advanced crocheters can benefit from these kits and end up making a beautiful project. Currently Annie's has four different crochet themed kits to choose from which you can view on their website. I'll leave the link below in the description box. However, they also have other kit clubs available for knitters, paper crafts, kids, and more. And as you can see, I have two of the kits here. And the kit on the left is the Annie's Crochet Afghan Block of the Month Club. And the one on the right is the Annie's Crochet Striped Afghan Club. In addition, they also have the Caring Crochet Kit Club, which is geared towards making things for charity. And they also have the Hook and Needle Kit Club, which combines crochet and knitting together in one project. Now I just want to have a disclaimer out there that the thoughts and views expressed in this video are mine and mine alone. However, I was given these two free samples to share with my audience. And you will see some affiliate links throughout the video in the description box below if you were interested in purchasing these kit clubs. But again, I was not paid to make this video and all these thoughts are my own, like I said. So let's get reviewing with the Crochet Afghan Block of the Month Club first. So the Annie's Kit Club is a monthly subscription, like I said, so you will get a total of 11 kits and that includes all the yarn patterns and crochet tools that you need to make a beautiful afghan. The afghan is what you see right here. And as a club member, you will also have access to video tutorials to help you along the way. Each subsequent kit co contains the yarn and patterns needed to make three new blocks each month, so you'll have a total of 30 blocks. And then in the final kit in this series, you will, in you will get materials to block your squares as well as guide you through the sewing with sewing the squares together before you are adding the border. So what's included in this kit? In this first kit you will get helpful instructions in this booklet that covers the basic stitches as well as show you the different crochet abbreviations. Whether you're a beginner or a more seasoned pro you have everything you need right in this booklet. So this is the stitch guide that I was just mentioning and again you have on the front cover you have an idea of what that finished blanket is going to look like. You have the yarn weight system and everything that you basically need. And if you open it up and take a look at the booklet itself, inside you will see stitch guides to show you how to make the single crochet and other basic crochet stitches as well as some special crochet stitches and it also gives you some general crochet information regarding hooks, gauge, and symbols. So that's always very helpful and again you have the yarn weight system on the back. So I think that's always very helpful for beginners because you are just learning everything and you just want to understand the different methods to crochet with the stitches and the yarn weights and everything like that. You also get four free gifts, which is a set of two crochet hooks and a tapestry needle right here. And you get an illustrated stitch guide, which I just showed you right here. So then if we take a look over here, you will get two skeins of yarn. Now as far as the as far as the Afghan Block of the Month Club, you can actually choose from two different colors. You can get the warm sand, which is this color right here, or you can get the coastal gray. So the sand color, as you can see, is going to have more brown and taupe and cream tones. And if you get the gray tones, obviously it would be more of a gray blanket. Both are equally very pretty. So when you get these two skeins, you will have enough to complete the first three blocks of your afghan. Now the yarn that they included is the Premier Everyday Anti-Pilling Yarn. I have used this yarn before 
and I can say that it's very soft and it makes it a perfect candidate for a, a blanket of any size, whether you're making a baby blanket or a throw blanket. And for me, I had no problem working with this yarn as it easily glided over my crochet hook like butter. So I really highly recommend using this yarn. It's 203 yards or 186 meters. It's a four ounce skein or 113 grams. It's 100% anti-pilling, which means the more times you wash it, it's always gonna look brand new. And it's machine washable and it's a number four worsted weight yarn. And this particular color is called chinchilla. So you're going to get two skeins of this, and again, you're going to get this stitch sampler afghan, and it's going to show you blocks one through three. And if you turn it on the back, it shows you exactly what blocks one, two, and three are going to look like, as well as the other blocks in this series. And again, on the front, you have access to video tutorials if you're a club member, if you just visit that website. And then if we look inside, you have block one, block two, and three. They're all different, so this one is maybe a little bit more of a shell. This one looks like it's a simple half double or double crochet, and this is a simple single crochet. So you have, you have instructions to make each of those shell, those um, squares rather. And I think the instructions for this are very easy to read. I don't think a beginner would have much trouble. And you even include the abbreviations here so you kind of understand what each of those abbreviations mean. So that's very helpful as well. So I'm gonna go ahead and make one of the squares using this yarn and I will be right back. So this is what one of the squares from the block of the month club comes from and I decided to do square number three. Each square should be nine and a half inches by nine and a half inches and that might be slightly different depending on your gauge. But I decided to do square number three because it comes with a variety of shell stitches and V stitches and I absolutely love those two types of stitches so I thought I would go ahead and do that. So you have this beautiful shell here and then you alternate with the V stitch here and then you do a row of double crochets and then the border is just a simple single crochet border. So I really liked how that one turned out. Looking at the afghan as a whole it seems like the more the kit progresses the more advanced the stitches become. However, I don't think you should let this discourage you or let discourage beginners from completing this project because I feel like the written instructions are very detailed and easy enough for a beginner crocheter to understand. And don't forget you also have those video tutorials if you're more of a visual learner. So that can really help you understand the stitches as well. Now after you completed your three blocks, you should have some yarn left over. You want to keep this to the side because you will probably need this for other squares and you will also need this for the border. So pricing. So for the pricing of each monthly kit, it's going to cost you $19.99 plus $5.95 for shipping. And if you're in Canada, the shipping is going to be $6.95. And I think that's a pretty good deal for everything that you get. I mean, includes the two skeins of yarn, the instructional booklet, the stitch guide, two crochet hooks, a tapestry needle, and as always, those video tutorials. So I think that's super helpful, and I think that as a beginner, if you want something different to learn, I feel like you can get a really good idea of doing something different and doing something maybe out of your comfort zone a little bit. So if you're interested in purchasing this particular block of the month kit, I do have a code below, a coupon code to get 50% off your first subscription box. So if you're interested, I will leave that coupon code in the description box below. So let's move on to the next kit, which is the Crochet Striped Afghan Kit. Okay, this is the Annie's Crocheted Afghan Club. And as you can see, it's 
a stripe afghan versus the squares that I just showed you. And much like the other kit, this is also a monthly subscription, so you get 11 total kits. That includes all the yarn, patterns, and crochet tools needed to make a beautiful seaside sampler afghan, as you can see on the front cover here. As always, as a club member, you will have access to the video tutorials to help you along the way. And each subsequent kit contains the yarn and patterns needed to make three new stripes each month. So you'll have a total of 30 stripes. And in the final kit in this series, you will, you will get explanation on how to make the border as well as the finishing details as far as weaving in all of those ends. So what's included in this kit, much like the kit that I just showed you, you'll get a helpful instructional booklet that covers the basic stitches as well as show you the different crochet abbreviations and that's all in this little stitch guide right here. So I will show you that very briefly because it's pretty much the same as the other one. So it just shows you the blanket, which is very beautiful. I really enjoy those beachy colors. And again, you have access to the video tutorials. On the back, you have the yarn weight system, where you have the different weights of yarn that you might encounter. And you have the crochet stitch guide, again, with the beginner stitches, the special crochet stitches that you might use, and helpful general information. So in this kit, you will also receive three skeins of yarn, which are used to complete your first three stripes of your afghan. And each stripe provi provides a different color and texture, which makes you think of the beach every time you work on it. So I really like these three colors a lot. Again, I really like that beachy theme to it, and I thought this is one of the better color combinations that I've encountered. I never really thought to put these three colors together, but... I'm actually working on a blanket right now using very similar colors to this and I was inspired by this kit to make that blanket so be on the lookout for that. Hopefully I can get that completed and up for you within the next couple of weeks. You'll also receive four free gifts so you'll get a crochet hook, a tapestry needle, this one includes some stitch markers and the illustrated guide which is going to be this right here. So this is the illustrated guide and if we look at the yarn for a minute, let me just pull one of these out. This is again Premier Anti-Pilling and this is an exclusive from Premier Yarns and it's everyday worsted and as you can see it says like new wash after wash. So anti-pilling is basically like I said before with the other kit. The more that you wash it, it will still look brand new, which is always very nice. And these are slightly smaller skeins. They're 153 yards or 140 meters. And it's a 3 ounce skein or 85 grams. It's 100% anti-pilling acrylic. Machine wash and dryable. And it's a, considered a number 4 worsted weight yarn. And for this one in particular, this yarn has been tested and approved against 350 plus harmful substances. So that's really great if you plan on making a baby blanket or any blanket in general, just because you know that it's been tested against harmful substances. And much like the other one, this is incredibly soft yarn. And again, you're not going to have any problem working with this yarn as it'll glide over your crochet hook very easily. And I absolutely love this color combination. Like I said, this color is Spa. This other color right here, which is kind of like a light navy color. And this one is called Harbor. And then this final color right here is just called Cream. So these are three very pretty colors together and I can't wait to get started on those stripes. So next when it comes to that instructional booklet it shows you how to make stripes one through three and again if you turn it on the back this is what the completed afghan looks like as well as on the front you get a closer up view of that afghan. And right here 
it shows you what the completed afghan looks like and shows you stripes one two and three that you'll be working on i just think it's very very pretty and again you have stripes one through three so this is the first stripe that's the second stripe that's the third stripe and again the instructions are very detailed and easy enough for a beginner to understand and as always they have crochet abbreviations so it helps you understand a little bit more about the abbreviations throughout the pattern so I'm going to go ahead and work up my three stripes just so you can understand and see what those stripes look like so I will complete that and I will be right back and this is what the crocheted stripe afghan looks like now I did this on a much smaller scale as I just wanted to practice and kind of get the hang of the different stitches so this cream color, you just alternate single crochet and double crochet rows. And then for this next color, the navy color, I actually never heard of this stitch before and I've never tried it, but it's a half double crochet in the third loop. So I don't know if I did it correctly. I actually had to look it up, but it kind of makes this little bit of a ridge. I don't know if you can see it but it makes that little bit of a ridge right here. So I thought that was kind of interesting. And then for the light blue color, you kind of have that little bit of a web. So I kind of like this stitch a little bit, this blanket a little bit, again, for the colors, but I feel like both of them were pretty easy to understand as a more advanced crocheter. I feel like if you were a beginner you can definitely understand it except for maybe this part right here which you can always look at the video tutorial to help you with that stitch but everything else seemed to be pretty easy with this as well as the other square that I just showed you as I mentioned with the other kit if you look at the afghan as a whole it seems like the more the kit progresses the more advanced the stitches become However, again, I don't think you should be discouraged from completing this project because I feel the written instructions are very detailed and easy enough for a beginner crocheter to understand. And again, like I mentioned before, you have all those wonderful video tutorials to help you understand how to make each of the stitches if you're more of a visual learner. So after you completed your three stripes, you should again have some leftover yarn that could be used for other stripes and the border once you have finished your afghan. So what is the price of this kit? This monthly kit also costs, costs $19.99 plus $5.95 for shipping. And again, if you're in Canada, this is $6.95 shipping. And much like the first kit that I mentioned, the Crochet Striped Afghan Club has a 50% off coupon for your first subscription so I will go ahead and leave that coupon code in the description box below just in case you're interested in checking this kit club out. So overall what is my impression? I think honestly these kits are very easy and I think I would give them a try especially if you're looking for something creative and looking for a different creative outlet but don't really know where to start I feel like these monthly kits make it easy to create a project and maybe even use some stitches you've never tried before. Again, I think the video tutorials are super helpful and I really like the options that the kits include. So again, I like this color combination that you see on the screen and as well as I like the other light kind of neutral brown tones that you get with the block of the month club. However, on their website, if you choose to use the gray tones, I think that would be absolutely beautiful as well. I'm more of a great person myself, but I really like how both blankets are very neutral colored. So they, I feel like you can work with a variety of home decor styles. So that's always nice. Now, if you don't like the Annie's Kit Clubs and you're not satisfied with them, you can always cancel your membership at any time with no strings attached. So that's always something nice if maybe this kit just isn't for you for whatever reason. But again, I highly recommend trying them out just so you can try something new and have something fun to look forward to each month. So thank you so much for joining me today as I reviewed the Annie's Kit Club. And 
Again, if you like to purchase either one of these kits, you can do so in the description box below. I will have links to the actual kits themselves, as well as the coupon codes for 50% off your first subscription box. So I hope you consider purchasing one of these kits, or maybe the many other kits that they have to offer, and give it a try. So, again, my name is Amanda, and I'm from AmandaCrochets.com. Thank you so much for joining me today as I reviewed the Annie's Kit Clubs, and I really do hope that you give these kit clubs a try. I think they're wonderful. Thank you so much for joining me. Please like, comment, and subscribe to see all future videos by me. And as always, if you would like to see any video in particular, please leave me a comment below. I'd love to hear from you. Thank you so much, and have a great day.